Let's talk about 1979, Nikki, when you're out in a practice session and you decide you've had, it, you've had enough. You come in and retire. I mean, how bizarre must, can you imagine that happening now? This is a long story because Mr. E <laughs> said to me in the beginning of the year, I'm not going to pay you the money you want because we're negotiating my new contract. Then I said, fine. So then I went to Ron Dennis and the other team managers in the paddock said, I'm free. You want me to drive? And they said, no, you don't even need to come to us because the money you want, Bernie told us, we will never pay. <laughs> <laughs> so and then I thought, so he is the powerful man here. So I will never, I have to stay with him. And to make a long story short, Pamela was a sponsor. We negotiated forever. I called Tansi, the, the, the boss, and said, listen, I'm not driving unless Bernie pays me this amount of money. And then uh, Tansi, we went there to see it. He wanted to sign the team contract. And then Tansi said, you guys sort it out. I go out of my office and you sort it out and that's it. So then Bernie looked at me and said, what do you want? Two million and not 500,000. He looked at me in a really, in a nasty, <laughs> sympathetic way, I have to say. He looked at me and he signed. And when I signed, I, I really didn't feel happy because the fight with Bernie took me such a long time Four months, I mean, when he came in the morning in the pits, I didn't even look at him. I was racing for him, you know, where there was so much <laughs> aggravation going on between each other. And then I signed and I didn't feel all of this relief and be happy and whatever. And then I came to Montreal. I looked out of the room and said, I'm not really motivated. He was my teammate at the time, just joined us. And I said, what the hell is going on here? You have a two million contract and you're not happy. So I was arguing with myself, went to the circuit, got in the car, got out of the pitch and suddenly I said, I have enough. And then I said, two million, are you nuts? <laughs> so I came back into the pits. Please check my tire pressure and waste time in the pits to think. And then I said, no, I'm going to go for it because Bernie pays me, I'm happy. And Cosmo the engine the first time, yeah. Yeah, which was another little problem for me. I had 12 cylinder engines all the time. Then I tried again and I couldn't continue. So then I got out of the car, went to Bernie, I said, Bernie, I want to retire. And then he took me to this little motorhome and he said, Nicky, don't be stupid. Think about it again. You're emotional now. There's something happening which I cannot understand. Be fair and think about it again, which I'll never forget. Because he asked me to think again to not destroy or stop my career. I thought about it again. I said, Bernie, no, I'm sure this is my right decision. He said immediately, fine, I accept. But do me one favor, leave your helmet and overall with me. <laughs> I said, why the hell you want my helmet? For, for good thinking or what? <laughs> no, no, I need to find another driver. <laughs> this is the Zunino or whatever. Zunino. Yeah. Gave him my helmet and said, get in the car, Nicky is retiring. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, so good let thing. Let me ask you a question. Honestly, it's the first time I've ever asked you this. You didn't stop because he was quicker than you, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't know yet. No, no, no. But no, he was good. quicker that day. Yeah, yeah, he was good. No, he was very good. No, no, no not true. So I had enough, honestly. I, I, I know, I'm joking. Charlie and Herbie, what was it like? You, well, your drivers retired halfway through I a was session. his mechanic, and I built this new car for him for that race, and I was very Fantastic proud of this car. car. Yeah. And he came in after practice and said, just, he said, the rev count is a little bit wonky. Can you fix that? And I thought, well, that's, that's all? Fantastic. <laughs> oh, please, Nicky. You know, so, get ready? waiting for him next practice where's Nicky and I looked in the in the sort of hut that we use as a garage and his bag was gone that's a bit strange <laughs> then he emerged it um, left yeah. 